I'm not trying to freak anyone out here. This is the 15 minute bubbles on uh, banter bubbles. I'm, I'm watching this 15 minute closely because I want to see if we're about to get a little uh, reversal on these alts, which have started actually falling over uh, in the last, say, hour and a half. We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of blood. We've had BTC fall over a little bit. Uh, we've had uh, uh, things like sushi turn over. So currently I'm short sushi. I'm short Seoul, I'm short BTC, I'm long near and I'm long dot and I'm going to explain it all to you and tell you why I did it and how I did it and uh, and what my plan is going forward. I've also got Simon here. Lux Algo is part of uh, the reason why I shorted Sushi and Seoul and Bruce is here with some, uh, with some trade setups too. So he'll be joining us guys. We've got a lot to talk about today. So let's get right into it. So first things first, let's just look at this BTC range that I've been watching. This is the one hour range that we've been clocking for the last week or two. Um, and I wanted to explain to you why I thought it was right to enter a short on BTC and uh, what my plan is going forward and, and, and how I think this is going to play out. There's also a poll running, guys, at the moment. I want to know, are we actually going to get this retracement to the 31.5 that we've been speaking about for a while? Or are we actually going to blow through now? Are there going to be too many shorts loading up? And are we going straight to 40,000? So let me know uh, on that poll, guys, what uh, what you think is going to happen next. Um, I'm going to give you my opinion and uh, we'll see. We'll see if it all falls in place. So right now, what has happened? Uh, we've had BTC pump very nicely. Uh, last night, we saw that beautiful move into 36,000, which was the level we've been looking at probably for the last couple of weeks. We've been waiting for that level on that 618 FIB. Um, we're going to zoom into that one shortly. Then we had the pullback and we had the bounce and I was looking carefully for a rejection at one of my reaction zones and you guys know that I love this 382 and I also love the 618. So when we pushed up into that 382, we saw BTC was struggling a little bit and that started giving me a sign that we might be falling over. Um, then it did obviously reverse and now we have dipped down and we've got a 618 bounce currently. So I'm watching this closely, but what has this told me? We've now printed a lower a lower low so what is this telling me we are now potentially in a downtrend so we are going to be watching this closely and see what uh, what develops over the next couple of days because we might be sending this lower and uh, a weak btc and a downtrend might not be that good for these altcoins so uh sheldon and i have been talking uh, you know the last couple of days saying we are at resistance might be tp times coming up things like that and uh, this might be playing out for us now so we're going to keep our eyes closely on btc right now there is a 618 bounce and horizontal so uh you know things could reverse pretty quickly we could be sitting here things could reverse very quickly uh we've seen the s p is bouncing that trade that i was in on the s p is absolutely ripping now uh so there is some decent sentiment coming out uh, in the u.s market so that might actually play into crypto so we're just going to watch what we have in front of us here we've got support right now horizontal uh, 618s and potential downtrend in play and we're going to play things accordingly let's look at uh, the btc three day and here's this chart that uh, we've been talking about for the last while. And what did we get? The science came back straight to us. 618 uh, trend as well and a perfect rejection, which is exactly what we were looking for. We knew we weren't going to get that one week. We knew they were going to come up uh, for the next one to flush out a couple of guys. So that is how we're playing it at the moment. And on this bigger picture, what am I looking at? Um, and the reason for my poll is this 31.5 is down here. Um, and this could take uh, this could take quite a lot of time to head down to this region. I mean, this is the three day chart. These are three day candles. So what is going to happen next? Uh, I'm looking at a potential retracement into the zone, this this 31,500 region. Uh, this is not out of the question, and this would still be a bullish retracement for me. Uh, you know, we've had very big moves here, and uh, this uh, this move to 31,500 is on the table. Uh, first stop for me though is still going to be this 33,300 area that you can see I've highlighted here, 33,390. So we're going to watch that one as well, and uh, yeah, we're going to play it by ear and then dial in uh, into these uh, into these one-hour ranges and uh, keep you posted on what's happening. Uh, lower down, we do have the the 34 region as well uh, that I'm watching on the one-hour chart. So this is how I'm teeing things up for the day, and then with regards to the S&P, well, you know now we've got great sentiment. 
um, decent uh, decent messages sent last night and uh, the markets responded nicely. So we've even gapped up today on the S&P. So uh, upside targets are coming for me. I'm looking at this 4385 region uh, at the moment as a potential target and then we'll deal with it when we get up here. If you know, if we do start breaking trends, uh, that's another story. And uh, this S&P, uh, this S&P trade that I was building up now is absolutely cooking. So I'm going to let this one run uh, for a couple more days. Let's see how we go. And uh, yeah, look, they might come and fill this gap. We're going to watch this closely too. So I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know in the chats if anyone actually longed the S&P with me or if you thought I was absolutely crazy uh, for doing that. I did sweat a little bit. Uh, it did take me quite deep and took me to dark places, uh, but it did uh, it did reverse for me eventually. Um, so let us know. Anna Banks says sick beats. Yes, we're loving the beats and there's more beats coming from Dave. He's busy mixing. Uh, he's mixing more beats for us. So they'll be on their way. Uh, Lander says retest and pump. Look, guys, anything is possible. You know, uh, we, we could call things up and down all day long. But uh, what the market is going to give us is what the market's going to give us. So we just need to play what's in front of us as best as we can and uh, manage our risk accordingly. So let me take you through. I'm, I'm just looking at the chats here and, and I see everyone. Alex, David is asking for PolyX. Alex, Bruce has got PolyX ready for you. He's going to chart it for you today. So that is all uh, that is all happening, guys. Keep dropping in the chats what you want. Bruce and Simon are here. Are they watching the chats? They're going to start working on a couple of charts for you. Let me explain my uh, my first short that I took on uh, these altcoin sushi. Um, it was just looking very sexy to me. Uh, this thing was uh, completely, completely overbought. And uh, the first thing I did was look for some order blocks using Lux Algo. And you can see what's going on here. This is the 12 hour sushi. I mean, we've got order blocks coming out of our ears here, telling us they want to fight with any moves up into that area. So that was one of my first signs for me that things were a little bit hot for sushi. Then we have got the uh, the clouds and uh, what do we call this thing? We'll get Simon on here to explain it. Uh, the, 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 the signals and overlays. And uh, I mean, we've blown through the cloud. Early on today, I saw multiple Xs. So Simon's going to have to explain to me why there's only one X left because here is our X. So they printed that bullish move. They gave us one X. And then I saw multiple Xs today. But I see they've disappeared, perhaps because this is now turned over on the 12 hour candle. So the now candle is looking different. Um, my first target for sushi is uh, this, uh, this one region. Call it 0 0.999. Uh, that's the area I'm targeting for my first TP and you can see this is a beautiful candle so if this really starts falling over this should happen quite quickly uh, the next move to 0.81 let's uh, let me zoom in for you and uh, show you the, uh, the the way I planned this one and the way I got stuck into it so we had that in original pump and then I started looking for uh, things like bounce areas and rejections and reaction areas and I started pulling out um, 618s and things like that and uh, what you can see happened here we were looking for the reactions on the 618 and I eventually got it on that pullback over there and you could see it just playing around dancing around this area and uh, I started entering a position and then it just started falling over and once we had that lower low there then we knew we were on for we were on for a bigger move so uh, that's now in play for me uh, this is the same principle I've applied to, to Solana. So I'm going to show you this one. This could also be an exciting one for all of us uh, if we do get one more push for Sol. So Sol is the, pretty much the same principle. Looking for order blocks using Lux Algo. Look at the size of this order block they gave us. A uh, nice thick green band here at the top in the 48 region, which is what we were looking for yesterday. And uh, then we also had our cloud, which was absolutely blown out. I mean, it was screaming at us. It was basically trying to break through the screen to tell me that Sol is tired now. Um, I mean, you can see the X's here that they, they printed here for us all the way up to this move. Um, so let's zoom in and look at the current Sol situation. Okay, so Sol is currently losing its trend on the 15 minutes, which is what I've been watching. And again, you know, we played this, we played this Sol move accordingly. I looked for 618 reactions and things like that. Uh, let's see what we got here. So I looked for that bounce on Sol. It pushed up into a 618. It reacted quite heavily here, looked for that reaction and it started falling over and then we got that wick down and then we knew we were potentially on uh, for some more downside. So uh, if you are looking to short Sol now, well now there's there's already been a move. Okay, so this is the 15 minute stuff. We've already had our first move. This is what I suggest for you. 
Uh, and this is obviously based on this market continuing now in a downtrend and BTC in a downtrend. So sold 15 minutes, we are looking for this trend to be lost now. Then we are looking for a reaction on the 618. Okay, so we're looking for this bounce in this region, and then we are looking for a rejection in that area. So that is how you're going to play Sol. And it's the same way I play these aggressive entries on the longs and then the breaks and the retests. We're just doing the inverse. So again, let's let's flip this chart over and just show you how I went about it. So when we are looking for longs and we see a situation like that, we're looking for double bottoms and we're looking for bounces in uh, high impact zones. And for example, this 618 came into play over here, uh, gave us that push up. And now what do you do? And it's the same way when you're trading a trend. If you are longing now into a trend, you are longing into this resistance. So you need to wait for this break. You need to wait for the retest because at some point it is going to bounce a little bit and then you can send it. So let's turn it over once again and just give you a, a picture as to what's going on. And, you know, this is probably the best way to play it if you are looking for sole shorts. Uh, and now remember, we are going to track these fibs and we're going to track these impact zones. And then if it starts breaking much higher and back into this trend and you lose this 618 over here, I would say that short is off. And uh, then we are looking for longs again in that region. So you're going to need to you're going to need to play this one carefully. And the market is super volatile, guys. So uh, just be careful out there. Uh, Black Sales has got questions. He says, "Is this dump anything to do with Pelosi subpoena?" Guys, let us know, please. Um, Rodolfo, can you let us know in the chat what's happening there in the news? Uh, I'm sure you've got some information for us. And. Uh, Chaos says the dump is 1.5%. <laughs> it is tiny, isn't it? I mean, we start panicking for a 1.5% dump. Um, okay, let me show you near. I am currently long near. Let's see if it's still holding. Uh, okay, yeah, so near. This is near on the 15 minutes. I was kind of feeling bullish still on near and dot. So these two, I'm still long. Um, I figured if BTC was going to bounce here, I was looking for longs on near or for decent support area. And uh, this is the zone I played for now. So this is how I'm playing near level by level. Uh, we've got this 382 area here. You can see the support here. We've had a bit of a bounce with that BTC reaction. So let's see how BTC goes uh, off that 618. If it starts pushing up near and things should follow. And then uh, I'm looking for potentially bigger things, but you can see we do have a downtrend here. So we're going to watch what goes on in that zone. Then with regards to support, lower down for near, I've got the 200 day MA and this horizontal here, 236 at 1.38. So let's just zoom out again. And you can see what we're looking at uh, bigger picture wise. So ideally right now, if we're going to be bullish on near, we want to see it hold this region. That is that region I'm interested in currently. Uh, if we lose that area, we should drift down and then this is such a nice zone the 618 horizontal 200 day ma it's such a great area guys if we get that break comes down for a nice support for us we should get our next move so as uh, my eyes are on near and dot uh, in the in the next couple of days i want to see how they perform here is dot as well dot was a great performer yesterday uh, we spoke about getting that long for dot off this uh, off this move down there and it actually gave us a 10% pump and gave us the target uh, we wanted we wanted the trend we wanted the 200 day ma and we wanted this horizontal and we smashed that thing and uh, now i'm potentially trying to plan a move here on dot and uh, if dot is going to push higher i'm tracking it in these levels over here i'm watching these areas and uh, if it's going to break you know we want to get our best possible entries here so right now i'm watching this 382 for now and i'm watching the 618 let's see how we go here on dot um we could uh, we could start loading up here and get uh, get some kind of entry that's going to take us through to this trend break on the daily and uh, once we get this trend break on the daily we're going to look for this break we want to see the support and then we're going to send this uh, we're going to send this dot now if btc starts falling over more and and dot and near don't agree they're going to come back down and we need to look at our bounce zone so for me the most solid pullback area right now for dot uh, and subject to change because it depends on how badly things do fall over. Um, if they start dip dipping more, we're going to look for new levels for you guys. But right now, if things really fall over, uh, for me, it's 4.33 that I'm watching now for DOT uh, for an area where things should stabilize uh, if, the, if the wheels start coming off there. Okay, Simon says he's going to cover XRP. Um, guys, there's a yeah, there's a lot going on here. I wanted to give you a lesson in Fibonomics. Uh, let me know in the chats if you want a lesson in Fibonomics, and let me know if you even know what Fibonomics is. 
<laughs> you guys, some of you that have been with me for a while know that I love my science. Um, and I wanted to give you this, uh, I wanted to give you this uh, XRP scalping play uh, of how it's been playing out. Uh, Crypto Banter says yes, of course Crypto Banter says yes. <laughs> okay, guys, it's coming. Uh, here we go. Okay, no, we, we do have Mar Maruk wants, uh, wants some of it here. Farah says she loves the fibs. Okay, so let me show you what's going on with XRP. We have had a rejection on XRP on this 12 hour. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it looks like it's quite a decent rejection now. We've lost the 786. So things have actually changed a bit uh, since uh, probably since the last 30 minutes when I last looked at this chart. So let's look at our uh, zoomed in version. Okay, so this is a scalper's dream. If you like fibs, I mean, this is, you know, this is where you want to be. Uh, or Yachty shouting, fib, fib, fib. I agree. It's all about the science, guys. This is what we're here for. Um, yes, now I, I won't be fibbing. Uh, yes, we could do Litecoin as well. Um, okay, so here, this is what we're looking at. Uh, XRP, I try to identify, does it like the 618? And uh, you can see I've highlighted areas where we are getting 618 reactions. And this is how you can go about uh, trading these things and scalping these guys when things are super bullish. So the first one, we had that XRP pump. Look for a 618 pullback. What did we get? Bang, 618 pullback. Then we had that push higher. What do you look for? You look for the 618 pullback. We got it again bounce off the 618 then if you're trying to grab the 618 pullback for the next move it failed here was our x okay but then we had the pump off horizontal so again guys remember we look for high impact zones if we miss out on a on a 618 which we know responds well to these cryptos uh we look at horizontals um so we got our horizontal bounce what did we get on the pullback we got a 618 bounce again uh, for xrp and it repeats itself again and again dare i say it again another 618 bounce okay so here we are now tracking xrp and i wanted to show you guys we were coming down to a potential 618 and trend region of interest but it might be losing the 618 now so we're going to watch this area closely and this should tie in now with where btc wants to be and if btc wants to bounce here this is quite an important zone for xrp and i'm looking forward to getting simon's view uh, on this area now because i've got trend and 618 and horizontal here on the 15 minutes so the bulls are saying well you know we've had this one two three four times out of five maybe we're going to get this one again the bears are saying well let's reject here let's react at that previous 618 and then send this thing lower so guys this is our moment bulls and bears can you let me know please in the chat is anyone here still bullish on xrp what are we doing here and Anna says XRP is the best for FIB sculpts. Look, guys, when you find a token that respects the 618 like that, um, or these FIBs in general, um, it makes your life a lot easier for, for planning things, not rushing. Um, Rodolfo shouting Lux Algo, Lux Algo. Um, oh, yes. Okay, so there's questions here about the Mexi trick. Guys, so let me show you something. In the description of this video, right here, okay, you can find the Lux Algo link. Okay, there's 30% off on Lux Algo. So if you like Lux Algo, click on the link. Uh, there's a 30% off on Lux Algo. Then somebody's asking uh, Maxi. She wants to know the Mexi trick. Yes, using isolate and leverage. If you want to trade on Mexi, there is a Mexi link uh, in the description here at the bottom. They've even given me a landing page. And uh, there's an exclusive deal here for you guys on Mexi. It ends in 24 days, okay? So they, they, there's deposit, uh, what do they say? What do they call it? They, they, they match your deposit and things like that. Um, it's valid for 24 days. They don't match your entire deposit. You get trading bonuses. Um, okay, so check out Mexi and Lux Algo and uh, the other stuff in here, the winner Bitcoin. There's links here where you can win a Bitcoin uh, if you click on the banter bubbles. So just take a look through the description when you guys are done. Um, and you can get involved in that. And uh, we need to do a little session on how we uh, extract our, or maximize our leverage and our margin. So Magsy, I'm gonna talk to you about that. Um, Nilsson, Nilsson says Dylan is show. I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, so H bar is pumping again. Apparently, let's take a look. Mm, no, a little bit of a rejection. Okay, so this is one of our H bar trades uh, that we gave in Sniper Signals. It was our first one, actually. Um, so this one's pushed nicely into the 382. And uh, yeah, look, it's it's underway. You can see it hit a nice reaction zone, this 382. Big rejection here. Uh, let's see how it goes. But uh, we're looking for this 200 day MA and uh, horizontal to hold the support. So uh, yeah, eyes on H bar still. Uh, that is still in play. Let's just finalize and finish this uh, this XRP. So the shorters out there, if you want to be short XRP, 
We are looking for a trend loss. We are looking for the reaction. We are looking for the bounce and we are looking for the rejection. And that should give you your entry um, for a move lower. And the biggest area for me on XRP is 0.58. So that's a nice target area. And Ben sold XRP about an hour ago. Okay, nice one. So you pretty much sold the top then. That's a pretty good move. Um, Mike says Sol is creeping to the 618. And Lauren says Sushi is tanking. Yes, uh, let's just recap uh, Sushi quickly. Yeah, Sushi is now at TP1. Uh, we are moving down. We are at 0.99. And then I think we're going to really print. If it loses this area, which doesn't look like a very solid zone right now, actually. Uh, if we lose that, I think it's really going to start printing. So, guys, if you want to be short uh, Sushi, now's not the time. It's on support. You need to let it lose an area, come back, have a nice retest, and then go down. Okay. Same, the same thing happened here. We were looking for that bounce. We got a little recovery bounce, and then they sent it lower down. So it's the same principle, whether it's a trend or horizontals, you're doing the same thing. Um, you're waiting for that retest just to be safe. Okay, guys, let's get in the guys. What's up, Simon? Round of applause. Yo. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How's it? Bruce is here. Good morning, Bruce. Good. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. A red morning. I love That's it. Fair. A little bit of a red morning. Yeah, I like it. I well. need to change. I need to change this light behind me. We're gonna make this light red. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but red, I love red days because that's when after big pump you get your next setups. Okay, here we go. It's when We're the money comes. Theme. Oh, We're fitting oh. the theme. I made that Bitcoin light red for you guys. Okay. We, okay. We fit, uh, oh, there we go. Light. Oh yeah. But it's a nice. happy red. Hey guys, what do you think about my interchangeable red and green light? Um, let no, us know. Yeah. I've got I've got one, but it only does yellow. I didn't really think this through. So, didn't think this through. I need to, I need to buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking, okay, of, speaking so, of your red and green light, uh, your poll, which is about the same, uh, says that uh, 51% think we're going to 31.5. 44% think we're going to make it to 40. Uh, and then 5% are pretty certain that we're going to zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wow. spirit, guys. That's the nice. spirit. Send it um, to zero. So, so <laughs> let's uh, let me show you how where I got that forty from. I did a, <laughs> I did a field pool. I'll give you a reaction here on uh, seven eight six. And for those of you that are interested, there's a it's around about forty of the seven eight six. You can see we got such a good reaction on the on the six one eight, um, which was our first reaction zone. So uh, yeah, looking forward to see what happens if we do push up. Uh, to that 786 we might get a nice uh, a nice rejection up there too but okay so it's so we kind of balanced um that that's not bad you know it's not overly bearish stuff going on here um mm -hmm. lucas lucas shouting at us saying dylan Simon, bruce that's correct <laughs> <laughs> okay we, we we are here guys and we are here to give you setups we are here to give you updates so let us know as well guys the signals that we've been sending out we've absolutely smashed them the yeah, like Max good, Olga I... helped us with that render. So let us know. Yeah. Anyone who took that render trade yesterday evening late, uh, mm -hmm. that was Kurt, not Simon, and Lux Elgo. Um, yep. it, it was screaming at Simon. He was like, yep. he was basically yeah. like exclamationing me. In the chat <laughs> I was like, saying, make the WhatsApp group We're right now. <laughs> We're going to get the render out. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Let us know, guys, who got the render trade. I got it. It was great. Thank I got you. It. Simon I got obviously it. got it um yeah, yeah that's very good okay we've got requests for avax bruce can you prep avax uh for okay. us yeah. uh you did it yesterday so yeah we've got yeah. spooner asking for avax as well uh so there's a lot going on there uh nick says is that an ascending wedge yes it is an ascending wedge there on btc oh it's so nick Plankton, celebrity in the house oh what's up nick? <laughs> yeah um yeah to me it makes sense that it would drift lower uh, you know, if we're just following a channel, so, and it's not necessarily a bearish vibe, it's just a, a little gentle retracement. So uh, let's see how that plays out. And, and we need to watch dominant with dominance with this too. Um, okay, we've got requests for file. I'll prep file. I've got file for you guys. Um, I picked up some from the chat while you were on deal. Engine, Maker, uh, XRP, I've put as well, because you asked for that. So I've got all those ready as well. And Phantom. Okay, look at that bounce so far on XRP there while we're talking. You see, they're not gonna the bulls aren't gonna give up easily. Look at that. Look at that. Mate, look at fan look at Phantom. Perfect 618. Okay, let's pull up Phantom. 
just shy. Okay, so this is my uh, 12 hour phantom. So, yeah, we were looking for that range. Oh, they faked us out of that range yesterday, yeah. eh? I'm on the one hour right now. It's a nice 618. Okay, so look, bigger picture for me, uh, for those of you watching Phantom, uh, that, yeah, you can see it's reacting. So that would be a 618 on the one hour, I agree. Um, the big zone, the thicker zone for me is just lower, 239, 239, 24. That's probably the, the bigger zone. So if you are trying to be long off a 618, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, when you zoom out though, 382 horizontal, it's a bigger time frame pool. So that is one to watch. Um, let's zoom in quickly on this one hour and let's see what uh, what Simon is saying yeah you can see that nice reaction but the downtrend is in play okay, yeah. so we can see that okay so there's our 618 guys if you can see that 618 reaction horizontal um, but this downtrend is now technically in play so let's see what happens uh, what happens there okay can we talk Lux Algo stuff Mm -hmm. What is shouting at you right now? Um, if you want to bring my screen up, um, let's have a look. Okay. Pulling your screen up now. All right. Anna says sushi I've, bounced. I've actually okay, got, got five, I've got nine tabs open. The last few are what people have requested, and then the first few are what I'm looking at. What do you want me to cover first? Your best one. Give me your best one. They're all, they're all good. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Casper, still the best. So guys, just in case people weren't tuned in yesterday, we've got a long-term diagonal trend line. Now, what happened yesterday was we made our way, what I thought was good. Let me zoom in for you real quick. Hang on. We made our way up to what I thought might be another attempt at this all-time high. But yet again, yet again, we didn't quite make it. So those that was the level that we were looking for. We obviously fell short and we're back down again. So basically, in a nutshell, we need to see what happens. We're either going to retest the trend again at some point, which I think would be a good thing, and then break the all-time high. And that's what I'm banking on. Okay, so I noticed that the RSI has also turned down. Um, cash flow is actually flowing to the downside, coming down like this. So what probably that will transcribe to is this is on the eight hour, by the way, so it's slightly uh, more zoomed out, but I would have thought that we would get, you know, a bit more of this. And I would really like to see a wick there, just a single wick, and off we go again. That would really give me confidence that we break through this all-time high. So that is my best one. Um, if you're not in Casper now, um, this might be the opportunity to go long or short, depends on what the market says. We'll advise, or we'll, we'll not advise, we'll look at it in a day or two. But more importantly, if you are in Casper, we've just rejected off one, two, almost three, four, five, six. So this is going to be the seventh time that we've basically not broken through this line. OK, so what I mean, we're running out of space here. There's not a lot more room. Something's got to happen. So if you're still in Casper and you're a spot trader or you're, you're a, sorry, if you're a leverage trader, you might just want to think about jumping out because everything's turning down again. But it's only going to be a, I mean, still a, a maximum of a 10% move. So it's still a fair move. But to be honest with you, if you're in this spot bag for a long term and you've been in this like since way back down here, I wouldn't touch it. I think we've got to see that yeah. soon. Look, you don't want to mess around for a couple of percent in a spot position. Yeah. Can you zoom yeah. in, please? Because Roti wants to see your entry. Of course, what my entry? Um, hold on. Well, he says, Where's the entry? It's not clear to so, see. Hold on, <laughs> I'll just show you something just for a laugh. <laughs> There's my entry. <laughs> no, he wants to know where the entry uh, is. If it pulls back, <laughs> everyone knows your entry, Mr. Bag. Uh, I, I did try, <laughs> I tried so hard to tell you. I tried so hard to tell you. Let's take a look on the <laughs> one hour. I, I really did, right? Okay. One hour, so let's zoom in here for Roti so you can see the entry. Yeah. So this is interesting. On the one hour, we have got an RSI that has actually come down quite far. So it's sitting at 10. So that's not to say that this wick here, what, let me make it more zoomed in for you guys. Hang on. That's not to say that that wick wasn't the push down and that's it. It may still go again and try for this line. Your entry, there's a line of uh, support. I suppose 
here because you've got all of these wicks. So that in theory is at the bottom of the wick really. That's roughly 05, just slightly over 05. I mean, if you look now, we're getting some sort of reaction now. We've had from the bottom of that wick on this current hour candle, we've actually had a 1% move back up and there's no, there's no top to this candle. It's still going. So there is potential that that was the small bounce. We've hit this area of support again. So, so my, my could... big zone for me where the 50 day MA horizontal and I'm talking 12 hour supports here, 50 day MA yeah. decent fib pool, I'm looking at 0 0.48, 0 0.048. That's my big impact zone for me. Um, not saying it's not going to go, I mean, not saying it's definitely going to go down there. Um, just sure. uh, let me, uh, there was a, there was a gent in there. Right. Making... So, so pause, pause says, Go long or short, guys. Not financial advice. Pause. So this is what we do here. Pause. This is what we do. I look for high impact zones. I don't try and predict too much too high, too much too low. There's various factors in a market. But what I do know and what I can give everyone here is high impact regions. Regions where we get reactions. Regions where we get bounces. Regions, regions where we get rejections. And that's what I play into. That's my strength. And I like to trade level by level and area by area. And I give you these areas. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. Okay. When they're wrong, risk management. Yeah. When they're right, we're cooking. So that's yeah. pretty much how we go about things. And we use Luxalgo. We use all sorts of things that work with us. And uh, yeah, we don't try and look too much too far ahead. Obviously for fun. Keep it simple. But yeah, uh, yeah. Keep, it keep it very basic. Keep it simple. Yeah. Thinking, I'm, yourselves, uh, like, I'm still... thinking yourselves like being Sherlock Holmes, like a detective yeah. trying to figure out what the butler did it with the candlestick. Yeah. <laughs> no one can I predict mean... exactly what's going to happen, guys. We can only work on good areas and practice good yeah. risk management. I've taken every indicator off except for a trend line now. I mean, look, you know, <laughs> all these impact, these impact points, you know, in theory, there's your next impact point, you know. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get more simple than that, so... does it? yeah and you keep it simple and that's a rising wedge so that thing should mm -hmm. squeeze up um so that mm -hmm. is why we are getting excited about cast if this market turns really bullish guys um you know people might forget about things like ada and the old school stuff they might mm -hmm, want to yeah. come into like cast so look for good areas on cast this thing can still 10x or 20x from here so mm -hmm. um you know these are the ones you want to look for so if this does squeeze up this thing's gonna rip um so just keep that in mind uh, Benny, yeah. uh, Bruce is doing Poly X for you guys shortly. Um, do you want me to do one more? Do, yes, please do. All right, let me just close windows as I'm done with them real quick. Let's get rid of cast. Right, XRP, Dylan, just a real quick one. Oh, look at that wig. That wasn't there before. Yeah, Has that proper, just huh? happened? Proper. Yeah. Has that just happened? Oh, wow. Yeah, again, what happened? Yeah. So literally, I mean, that's respecting the trend line. All I was going to say when you were talking about XRP, I mean, I've had to move that now for the wick. That's not, this is give or take the trend. It's trending upwards, but obviously we're about to break through to the downside, aren't we? I mean, like you said before, um, what I noticed before was we've got uh, these touch points here in the RSI. I mean, I've taken this as the start point. We made our way up, we reset, we made our way up, reset higher, we reset higher again. This is why I drew the trend line. And it's essentially playing out the same in the price action i mean pretty soon we're not going to be able to go like this because we're going to run out of space so in theory this is also going to break through to the downside and it will probably take price with it so you said before that we we're ranging down i think based on this trend line on the rsi i think we've got maybe one more bounce and then after that we'll break through it to the downside so it's just really confirming what you said yeah Guys, I just want to flash something here quickly. Uh, Nia is reacting now at this 15 minutes. I just wanted to show you, uh, mm -hmm. again, the science. Okay, 382, what do we get? Reaction from Nia. This is what we look for. We look for these big areas. We had that push up, we had that reaction <laughs> down, and here goes Nia, and now we are watching for this downtrend that I spoke to you about. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see how it reacts here. So these are the reaction zones we talk about. Sorry, Simon. I just That's right. To catch it while it was no, happening. no problem. Um, and I'll keep. I'll do one more now, and I'll just shut up and let Bruce carry on, or you guys. But uh, there will be more to cover because I've got some requests from you guys. But in terms this of is, curve, yeah. I, I thought curve was nice. Uh, I know that there's a lot of different colours on here, guys. Let me just show you what what I'm looking at. 
those two green lines are purely just a descending channel that I drew and I started that channel out probably back in June and it's been going on since January so for the entire year curve has been trading uh, trending to the downside um mm. so that's just to give you an idea of what we're looking at and now the next thing to take off is if I just hide this for a second uh you can see the two blue trend lines of uh, the horizontals we're essentially in a range right now uh this is on the four hour and then what I really noticed to bring all of these things together is that on Lux Algo um we are at, I'm gonna make it bigger hang on a sec we're at a point where I mean really it needs to make a decision it's up at the trend line again this horizontal blue that we've just spoken about there was a previous long in play which has given us an x um Dylan in answer to your previous question you asked why there was sometimes one x sometimes two x's and sometimes three x's right it just yeah. depends on how long and how strong the trend is going on for you know for this one here we actually started off here and it made its way downwards even though it was a long so you would have got stopped out if you traded this signal um it also gave you a long here at the absolute top of an rsi where there's bearish divergence so this to me is a misfire so it just shows you no signals perfect guys um more likely you would have taken this short and then you would have followed that but then again you would have got stopped out so but what 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 is interesting now there's one x there's a previous long which is obviously if you hadn't got stopped out this is the trade so there's a take profit there we're up at that trend line we're also up in this reversal zone that was uh the term you were looking for just before um and then to top that off the rsi has gone up it's really flattened out we're in the over bought territory and then i would guess that this candle here actually is quite a large chunk of retracement and that is that's four percent five percent nearly so it's you wouldn't really want to get necessarily get into this now uh you've kind of lost we weren't here when the uh, show started we were further up but in terms of all of these different indicators we've got some down action we're going to make our way down to this next cloud probably so that's quite interesting okay so do we have a trigger for this thing what's uh what's the plan yet i think to be honest with you mate since we've been talking on the show we've missed it um just zoom down further the one hour showing yeah so look, here you go it's an hour ago which was here the rsi actually turned and it came down but that was an hour ago um we had a short signal at the top of this candle as well so we've not missed a lot but you have missed a percentage of this move i wouldn't strongly recommend getting in now even though this is still pointing upwards um it's not a hundred percent you know we tend to bounce from cloud to cloud and then up again and down you know this one to me the bounce was up here and we've actually had a five percent jump already so okay. potentially cool. this is a bit late okay what else you got Come on, um, Come on, games for a <laughs> games for a living. Game, games for a living. If you're following, okay. if you're following me on Discord, get out. Now's the time. Okay. Now's the time. If, so if so you have you given port. the signal to exit? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so, so guys, remember is, those yeah. of you that are new. Sorry to interrupt you. Those of you that are no, new, no, Simon sorry. and Bruce and David and myself, Sheldon as well. We dropping charts on the Banter Discord every yep. single day. Simon is using. He's our indicator expert. He's using Lux Algo. He's telling stories. With Lux Algo, you must read the yeah. stories he writes there on these tokens, <laughs> and yeah. it gives him signals. It's perfect for spot buyers. Uh, if you want to like a chill trading life, you look at these Lux Algo things. It's buys and sells. It's the most epic way to deal with it. Um, and he's posting these on the Banter Discord. So you need to be on the Banter Discord. How do you get on the Banter Discord? Get a trading link. If you have a Banter trading link, you can get VIP into the Banter Discord. Yeah. If you don't have a Banter trading link, um, I shared all these links in the description earlier. Go in, choose a link that works for you, and we'll get you into the VIP on the Banter Discord. Okay, that's how you get it. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. And here, here's something I wanted to show you. Do you remember I said to you the other day that on the 13th of every month, Games for a Living makes a token unlock? And, and I highlighted on the 13th of September here real quick, there was a low. And then we had another one. Uh, where were we? It was the 13th of October here. And it hung around there. Now, we're, we're still 10 days away or 12, 11 days away. What generally happens before this low is we get a down movement. So this here is the build up to the ultimate low 
on the 13th and the 14th from the unlock. And we had it again here as well. Look, this is the 13th here. Now, what I'm saying to you is probably going to happen with this, not definite. Here is the long. Here is your TP from the long. Here is a short signal. I think you're going to see, you might get another push up, but ultimately around about the 13th of the month, you're going to be around here somewhere. So I would personally get out. Not financial advice, but there is a good <laughs> trade there. If you're in it and you get out, you'll be making more money than if you stay in it. Probably. I'm not giving financial advice, but do with that as you will. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and um, just to top it off, there's a huge bearish there as well. Huge. Look at that. Massive bearish divergence. Okay. I mean, so it, it's rolling it's happening. Yeah. Uncle yeah. Bruce. Yeah. You've been so patient. Hey, you guys are doing some amazing healthy here. I'm taking notes and ready to take okay. some of these trades. So. Okay, I'm pulling yeah. up your screen, Bruce. I'm sure you've got a lot to talk about and a lot to show us. Yep, um, and I'm going to start with what we've been harping on for two weeks now, which is that this market is money going in a circle until we break uh, above this level right over here, which we have done. So this is exciting. Ne the next question is, before before we decide whether we're really honest to God in a, in a bull run, or is money just going to go around in a circle, is whether we actually managed to create this thing as support and go up from there. So this whole thing we got excited about for the last couple of days was $65 billion worth of new money coming out of the, you know, out of hiding and into crypto. And if we see another 65 billion come in, I think that's going to start to ignite the world. So I'm excited, but being patient to make sure that this is confirmed. Uh, on to some charts. Um, uh, Alex and Benny were asking for Polyx. So I'm going to start with that. Uh, interesting. I had never looked at it before, but um, it's been underwater for quite some time. Um, tried to poke above this really strong resistance level. I mean, it's not that old a token. Actually, it is. What a year. Um, poke over a bit. There, there, there was a fake out, got lost here, back under. Here's what's interesting is that it broke above it again uh, with a huge pump, and it had a huge retracement too. Um, but here's the thing, is it's settling in right where that old resistance level used to be? and is now support. So this is actually really interesting. Uh, that was an awful lot of volume to push that, that up that high, that fast, that was, um, yeah, that was 84% pump right there. But here's the thing, this is kind of interesting. It's really forming the wedge there at support. Um, I would watch this, but if you're looking, I would do a low leverage like spot, but if you really, I don't know what poly X is, but if you're looking for this for a long-term um, um, DCA area, um, this looks right for me. So I really like the, I like the look of that setup right there in support. So um, me and Craig uh, tried to trade PolyX on the 15 minutes and we got hammered. Really? On it. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah, yeah, two yeah. days ago. Yeah, but you, you can see it, right? On the 15 minute. Two days ago, you were getting wicked out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. But it looks like, I mean, just it's looking like it is settling. I mean, just zoom in a little bit. It's really settling in and ranging right here, which is a really typically good sign for for entering. So this might have been a whole lot more fun than what you dealt, dealt with back there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like for the last, you know, for the last while, this has just been ranging down here and it starts to poke its head above the uh, trend line over there. That might be a really interesting uh, one, but I'd want it confirmed. So I would take, take a trip look more like this. Look, I, like break, that, I like that bottoming take. out there, Bruce. It is bottoming yeah. out a little bit. So yeah. let's highlight that support for everybody uh, yep. so they can see that support yep. that we're watching. So, yeah, yep. I mean, it's quite simple here, guys. If you yep. if you like the support area, you can see it's yep. trying to form support. Yep. Um, there could be a scalp on the table here. Exactly. Uh, and, the, uh, like and you know, and you your head. Sorry. Sorry, Bruce, carry on. I was going to say that, that your stochastic has uh, just come off of being uh, oversold. Yeah, the candles are fairly small, which means liquidity is building up. So your choices are either right at support right there, which isn't a bad deal, or wait for it to break and prove that it's actually going to pump again uh, and, and pick it up on the retest. Two good choices. Yeah, and, and Alex has got some good comments here saying bullish divergence on the four hour MACD. Yep. Um, so, yep. yeah, guys, I mean, give us whatever info you have in there. Um, yeah, nice one. Yeah. Thank you. Most of 
So the next one that um, I forget who's asking for was uh, was uh, Avalanche, um, which we covered yesterday, and it behaved yesterday. Obviously, um, nice trade, uh, but it's now coming back and retesting. So the question I have, and we'll we'll get the answer to this, because uh, Avalanche is going to go along with Bitcoin. So it's either going to, if Bitcoin turns at least stabilizes or starts to bump up, then it'll probably come back and retest this um uh support area and potentially take off again um by the way this fibonacci is from the bottom of this trend because up until here there was no retracement we can take a look at the other way of looking at this but it would be also just perfectly fine for this to retrace back to the trend line the 236 on the big trend and uh, take a nice big long from there but you need to be patient for that one uh i did double check and i was curious to see whether because it was nothing to, to fib up to there, but right from here, you can do a fib on that local move. Hold on. What? Sorry. Here we go. Sorry, guys. My mouse is misbehaving. Let me do it again. Uh, do a fib from the bottom over there to the top over there. And you'll notice that uh, if it's going to pull back to this area, right to that support area, that's the local 618. Uh, versus, the, versus the big move. You'll often see longer term fibs overlapping shorter term fibs. Um, but that, again, coming right into that 618 support area and a bounce from there would be a, like a lovely trade. Be patient. Uh, depends on Bitcoin. Um, Como, um, we have one. We're, we're really, we're rocking. Um, so we got that one. The, we got the, the, the short from there. We got the long from here twice. You can't see it on the four hour. But it came right down, uh, popped right back up, came right back down to entry again. I missed the second one. And then the question was, what's the next trade going to be? And we predicted, uh, gosh, three or four days ago, that the next trade was going to be down here. And sure enough, prices dropped below the support level. And is uh, you could have taken it short from there, but there was no way of knowing that that was really going to be support. So that would, that would have been uh, a riskier trade. But now we can wait. This is down below support. Better come on down, tag the 618, and I'll be going long from there back up to the top of range. What's your, can, you, can you give, what is that number there, Bruce? Just so everyone can see, so, I think you need to zoom in a little bit there. Absolutely. So the 618, I got in close to the screen too, because my eyes ain't the best. So the 618 that I'm going to be targeting is 1.6145. Okay. And the way I okay, manage this is, yeah, go ahead. Okay, no, so banter discord alarms gonna yep. be on there for you guys. You can check out these charts. So those of you I see in the chat, some some of you are saying there's a problem. Some of the charts are blurred for some reason. Um, yeah. We are working on a couple of things. So if you can't see some of these charts, remember most of them are on the banter discord. So Bruce is gonna post this exact setup on the yep. banter discord, but just be patient. Awesome, let the, let Tomo drop in there, get yep. your entry. Um, yeah. And yeah, he'll 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 post that uh, that that long signal as well, so then you can see the yellow lines and all. <laughs> okay, I'll Again, screenshot you... mine as well. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, guys, can I just bring up Gala? We've got questions for Gala. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. want to just quickly show you I'm where Gala at, is. I'm looking yeah. at Gala right now on Lux Algo. It is smack bang in the middle. There is no telling at the minute whether it's going up or down. It's on that support. So, okay. uh, so what I can give you guys yeah. uh, is. We are now in a previous support zone that yeah. was shown as strong support before. We've now retested it three or four times. Um, so we are watching the zone carefully. This is still technically a break of trend here and retest. You can see this is the, mm -hmm. the 12 hour that I'm looking at. So what I would suggest for Gala, if you are in Gala, okay, nothing to panic about. Uh, we are in support. You can see this region here. This whole region here is a support zone. We also have the 382 pullback area. So for me, this is a checkpoint for me. Uh, so normal conditions, we get some kind of reaction here. We get some kind of bounce, okay? Notable though, lower highs. Let's pay attention to that. Um, but this is a reaction zone, all right? If we start losing this and dipping lower, the next best area is very clear here. It's horizontal and it's a 618 down here. So it, for me, it's quite clear. It's either here at the zone where it's going to bounce, 0 0.183, this sort of area, maybe a wick slightly lower. And then other than that, I'm looking lower, 0 0.163. So those are my two yeah. 
those are my two main areas so if it's in between those levels i don't touch it i'd rather they must go higher it must come lower I'm not interested <laughs> there. so yeah, yeah. right now it's in a touch zone okay so this is uh, uh a bounce zone for me gala next level 618 in between i don't touch it. look at uh, look at solana look at i was gonna say look at solana right now okay um, so this is our reaction zone go. for small guys okay so we've yeah. lost trend so let's see mm -hmm. if this plays out now okay so we've lost trend we're looking for our reaction zone so here it is this was previous support so you always look for previous support to give you a reaction let's see it's trying to react as you can see the candle is sweating around here we're going to see now how heavy the selling is this is a good test um and now we yeah we're hopefully going to get an entry here if we get a bounce let's see what it does yeah let's mark the next level as well okay here's our yeah. next reaction zone here and uh, guys the way i go about it i look for clusters of resistance support areas yeah. i look for where they tie into fibs um <coughs> generally quite simple let's see how we go and then every time we lose a level every time you lose a support mm -hmm. level you're looking for the bounce you're looking for the rejection and you're looking for the next push lower right so this is how we if, what are we looking here now if solana drops here the next order block is 38 32 um there you go and that it that's literally all right do you know what as i'm looking now lux algo just gave us a sell signal so it looks like yeah, the lux algo is a little bit late yeah well no it's no no as in i had the candle which is why i told you to look but it's now flashing up the one with the red cell so you know how i like to try and front run the signals a little bit but uh yeah. as we're speaking it's flashing on and off now so, um, so guys don't forget where it all started it started at a 618 push okay yeah, definitely. so where did it start there 618 rejection okay we saw that with xrp we saw that with btc we saw it with sushi um they come and they give you that 618 or that 786 rejection um and then the move starts so the aggressive entries are always the ones where you feeling a little bit under pressure there where it's pushing and uh, those are your aggressive entries your next best entries are post reaction after a dump and you can see Sol is trying to react here. Yeah? let's zoom in for you you can see we're getting candles here it's pushing it's trying to push up you can see right now so people are trying to buy at these areas um, there's an order block see. yeah so let's there, see how that uh, plays out there's an order block on the 15 minutes that's a huge bullish order block like it looks like the bulls are based on the 15 mm. minute um time frame there it is there, it, right? the, the, the bulls should win i'm just gonna look at your screen real quick uh yeah that's exactly what i'm looking at yeah it looks like the bulls should win this fight we should get a okay. push up so let's see yeah so if you do get the push up guys remember we're looking for a reaction at resistance so let it push up okay look for that reaction and that could be your possible uh, your possible short entry and remember solana's been strong and now what's in the news for Sol? we had the Sol conference everyone was g'd up they were making announcements mm -hmm. all the excitement there was a final squeeze yesterday yeah. What's coming for Sol now? Okay. What, what's coming in the next two weeks for Sol? I don't know. I don't think much. No. Um, no so idea. maybe it will cool off. Let's see. Okay. Nice reaction though, guys. Reaction zones. Okay. These charts uh, are on the banter Discord. Rata says Tomo's bounced on the 618. Yep. And I don't, if you want to, I don't know if you want to go back to Gala real quick on my screen. I've just zoomed in a bit on Gala. You were just talking about Gala yeah. before um on the one hour we are um essentially very very low on the rsi under 20. uh we had a cell i don't know if you want to bring my screen up i can just quickly yeah, talk yeah, you through yeah, what i'm yeah. looking at once you're done so all, all i'm looking at real quick is this there you go so this was obviously in play we're on the hour chart so an hour ago when we started we were here somewhere what time is it three yeah so we started an hour ago so since then we've come down here the uh the rsi has also come down we're getting to a point now where if you look left the only time that it's been this low is at this point here if we look further back every time the rsi turned it was higher about 30. you can see that this crosshair the line that's horizontal here it touches that every single time to the right here except when we drop down and that's where we are almost now and there was a strong push up there there was um yeah. divergence there we should come down to here again i would i would guess this will okay. finish playing out and we'll get a, a, an x here 
So one hour time frame, Lux Algo is saying potential bounce or reversal for Gala. How does that tie in with what I'm looking at? It's pretty close to what I'm looking at here. We are looking at a support area. It's a support cluster. This is 12 hours. So they are expecting a some kind of reversal in this region. Okay, so again, not for the heavy, the high leverage stuff, guys. Um, yeah. You're playing high leverage, you, you move a, a couple of points here on Gala, you're going to get smashed. So uh, this is a zone of interest tied in with Lux Algo on the one hour. Use it as a guide. Watch the clouds. When it's falling in, you know how to play it. Uh, you've watched this long enough, hopefully. Um, okay, I've got a few more we need to go through. Uh, we've got a few more minutes here. Let's let's smash what we can. Maruk wants to know about Mina and I prep Mina uh, over here. The best result for me for Mina. Um, I know it is hugging the 618 at the moment, but it doesn't have much else. And uh, there's this horrible candle that needs to be dealt with here still, I think. Um, so I like this 200 day MA and 786 region, 0.48. Maruk, so for me, a bounce zone, Nina, 0 0.48 is uh, what I'm looking at. Maruk says she's, yeah, okay, so she says it's getting ready to bounce off the 618. Look, you're right, it is hanging around the 618, but for me, I'd, I'd like a bounce here at 0.48. Um, if you want to play long, Maruk, just be careful. Uh, look for supports, obviously. That's probably your best bet, 0.557. Um, if you want to play that uh, play that move, for me it's lower down. Tash says big dump, Poly X. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello token. I mean, somebody let us know about hello token. Hello. Somebody, somebody Can asked me to check. Uh, so, uh, this is new. How, you should take a look at render right now. Okay, so this hello guys, I don't have enough information here for hello token to give you uh, an informed yeah. view other than maybe a 1.618 pool. Let's see how far it can go. This is Mexi. I see this is available on Mexi or BitGet. Mm -hmm. um, let's see a 1.618. Yeah, I've got it open here as well. So what I'm trying to do is just get a, a guide as to where I think this thing could bounce. Okay, so it looks like it could react here at 0 0.108. So. For me, this is very basic stuff, what I'm doing here. Uh, there's nothing else to support this um, other than an area of interest. So so watch that one. Um, it's the looking, club it's NFT. looking exhausted. Hello's looking exhausted, by the way, in Lux Algo, just to let you know. Okay, so guys, look, you don't want you don't want me jumping into these thick green candles because the way down just hurts. It can hurt you a lot. Yeah. Um, the club NFT, uh, yeah, we did do H bar. A support for H bar is 200 day MA and some horizontal. So look out for the 200 day MA uh, on H bar. Uh, there's a request for render, Simon. Can you pull out render and tell yeah. us uh, what, uh, what it's, right, it's right in 382. Right in 382. It's right in support. It's right at the trend line. Okay, guys, we're going to look at render again. That was a 10% or 12% bounce for us yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, let's mm -hmm. take a look what it's doing. I've got it. Okay, so we might get another bite of this one. Oh, hold on. There we go. Um, so let me just take off the order blocks real quick. So we've still got marked up what we were working on last night, Dylan, haven't we? So we might as well let the guy see it. This was the signal that you gave, right? So we obviously, yeah. where were we? We were here and we had this trend line drawn up and we got very excited, or I did. And there was the wick, and there was the push, and we TP'd perfectly on TP1. Now we've come down again, and we look like we're going to have another crack at this. So, I mean, ignore the entry for now, guys. Um, and in fact, ignore all the uh, the words for the moment. But looking at this, we've got, let's have a look. Um, cash flow, kind of neutral at the minute. The RSI is pointing down, but it's a little bit flat. We're approaching this trend line. I think we actually need to see a couple of candles print out before we can really accurately give any more information on this. Everything here is middle of the road, Dylan. It's not it's not clear enough at this point unless we come down to the one hour. Hold on. Uh, 13. Let's have a look. So on the one hour, there was a really uh, there was a strong uh, sell signal, which was a four, which is this one. Hold on a sec. Let me get my paintbrush. Right. This. This was a strong signal down. We've obviously made our way into the short since then. If you guys look in the background, there's that red trend line. 
Um, it generally goes red at the peak. If you look here, it went red, it came down. It's pretty accurate. So the fact that it's gone red now may well indicate that we might just blast through this line because this is, uh, it's only just gone red and we've only just really had a few, this is on the one hour. There's only been a few candles. Um, perversely, alternatively, you know, this could reset here and we could just get a mimic with the price action. So I think we need to see some candles print out before I can accurately tell you what I think we're going to see. Okay, patience, but we do have a trend coming up that you can track. You can watch that one. You can take your entry here, can't you? And just have a stop yeah, there. That. I mean, um, yeah, guys, that's a basic again, move. You tied in. Okay, let me just show you this BTC chart. Let me tell you guys, show you guys how I do these things. Okay, this is cake. Uh, somebody asked for cake. Uh, it's 200 day MA and 382 support on the 50 minute time frame right now. So, again, interesting that cake hasn't fallen over yet. Uh, I'm quite surprised. Uh, sushi's collapsed. Um, okay, so cake, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you want to wait for a push up for cake. Uh, 618, maybe and then you maybe get that move. Um, but right now it's it's hanging around, this 200 day MA. So uh, it doesn't look very short to build just yet. Uh, let me show you BTC. So what I tend to do, I try and tie in my support zones where my ults are sitting on support with BTC sitting on support. Um, and then I try and gauge what's happening uh, with these alt points. So right now I can see BTC on the one hour sitting on support. Let's look at something like Theta. You can see Theta on the 15 minute sitting on support. How are these candles? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. They came yeah. up here, up and down. Okay. So, again, so now we've got BTC on support, ETA on that support. Week. <laughs> um, Solana on support, guys. 618. Here's our reaction we were talking about. Okay. So, there's the reaction support, support. Okay. BTC just sitting on support. Some of these alts trying to bounce off support. Okay. USTD. USDT dominance going down. Yes, that's uh, that's possible. Uh, Aave is so good, says Anna. Okay, she's obviously longed Aave or something. We're going to take a look. Um, but you see what I'm doing here, guys. We look for our supports. We look where we're bouncing. Uh, so right now we are getting that reaction on Sol. Um, but now Sol is looking relatively bearish. So now you're looking for a pump into a potential resistance zone for your entry. Um, and the scalpers, well, you're just sculpting these high impact zones. You're looking for a few percent on these bounces. So, you know, here's an example for you right now. We've had Solana there. Uh, you can see Theta was on that area. Potential bounce. Uh, let's see. Uh, near, I've closed near. Uh, sushi. Okay, now Sushi looks like it's bleeding out now. Um, we're going to watch that. Uh, but yeah, you know, you know the drill. Okay, so here's Lina. Uh, Lina is 12 hour back to our support zone yesterday. So we spoke about Lina, went long there on that uh, support, got a nine or 10% move on Lina and reversal at our reaction zone, 50 day MA, 382 rejection down here. Um, and now Lina for me is coming back to this bounce area, 0 0.0097. Um, we're gonna tie that into BTC, watch carefully. I do have a 618 lower down that is still of interest to me. So that could get wicked. So if we do get a move, look out for something along those lines potentially. Okay, guys, let us know in the chat. Shall we do an extra five minutes? Um, I see there's so many questions in here. We can never get to all these charts. Guys, you want an extra Injective. five minutes? If you Injective. want an extra five minutes, we're going to trade it for likes. We're literally trading yeah. it for likes. Let's see. <laughs> do we have likes here? We've got 306 likes. Okay, if you want the five or ten minutes, guys, please like the shit out of this right now. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. There's one. Okay, we got one. Um, guys, it would help if you actually subscribe because then you'd get notifications. Remember, this is the yeah. new crypto banter plus channel this isn't the main channel this is a different banter channel okay guys fire up those likes we're working hard here for you um okay here we go yeah they come okay so now we're getting some likes we're getting some love i'm feeling a bit better um okay simon now we had 400 that's better everybody okay there we go um, okay am i adding your screen here what did you want to show us i no no just saying the guys were calling for injective in the chat i'm looking at it now and if you want to give okay, us your opinion first yeah well yeah, yeah. Just, let's no. let's see what it's doing in my language and then we're going to look in your language and see what's going mm -hmm. on okay so to me what have we got here this is injective 12 hour we were looking for that flag at resistance so we are putting pressure on this big resistance zone pressure 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 we've got the flag break okay so we've broken up we've rejected and uh, on the 12 hour time frame we are now looking for a retest of support here so this is the zone I'd watch immediately, 14.3. Uh, 
let's try and dial in on a clean injective on lower time frames. Let's Four hours, interesting. Okay, so here we go. A nice clearly defined range. Okay, so let's dump that. Okay, so what I want to see now is again, guys, exactly what we've done with Sol and XRP and all those things. I want to look for reaction areas, areas that we could get uh, something going. Um, not finding it there. Again, the minute you put up a chart, always just start hunting for impact zone, okay? Don't always rush into a trade. Make sure your areas are tying in. You can see here's a general SR area, support resistance. Okay, resistance, 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 resistance. Let's look for this to now hold the support. This could be our first reaction zone uh, for injective. Let's see if we've got a fib from here. I want to actually pull this fib first. Let's see what that one says. Okay, so that was the original. So that, that pull there would have given us that 618. Yeah, it's about right. It's about tied in. Okay, there, you can actually adjust this region a little bit. Give it that. Okay, so now we are moving into a reaction zone. Let's see if there's order blocks. Okay, we've just pierced through one, but that is interesting. Simon, I'm keen to hear what you're going to say now about injective. We got our first X in the cell. Okay, so looks like reversal town. Let's see yours. What are you on that? Are you on the 15? Minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Hold on. You'll have to give us a second. I was just on the four hour. I was just looking at the four hour, which four. I found. Happy, happy, happy. I found I found the four hour quite interesting. Um, although I did find that the trouble with the trouble with these is you can get points where they're just middle of the road, right? So for me, you've got a long in play. You know, we're already quite close to the reversal zone. You've got a lot of candles with wicks. It just there's nothing here really that's screaming in one direction or the other. But what is interesting to me is this order block. Um, so I'm gonna have to come down to the 15. I think that's what you're on just now and see if we can make more sense of it. Hang on a sec, let's have a look. So in terms of 15 minute, we are, yeah. So 15 minute, it's probably setting up for a long, isn't it? We're in an order block right now, but it's not gonna be much of a long, I don't think, but we'll see. Um, we're in the order block. We've got the RSI, which is obviously reset. I've got some other indicators that I sort of use. Um, I'll get them out of the way, just don't wanna confuse you guys but it looks like that the RSI seems to be at a point where it's going to turn um, to the upside. And then we've got this order block. So Dylan, I think probably we're going to get, you know, we've had this, this, this. I would have thought we'd get something like that would be uh, my best. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, listen, we're <laughs> in an order block. We should get a reaction right now. The RSI is ready to push up. We're getting one now yeah. as we speak. So again, guys, we when, when markets are bearish like this, obviously it's hard to, and I mean, we've been talking bearish for the last hour and a half, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yamaruk saying doji day, we'll deal with that. Um, we just look, when the things are falling over, you look for your reaction zones. Again, sometimes it will bounce in this area. It might bounce 1% and then fall over again. But we need to identify areas where you can make cool, calm, and collected decisions. So if you're in a position, don't just panic exit. Look for your yeah. areas. Look for your reaction areas because maybe you're heavily underwater on a leverage position, okay? And you're down, whatever, a few hundred dollars. Um, look for your reaction zone. Wait for that bounce. Often you get a, a percent or two um, that can maybe even save your account if you're trying to bail, you know, and you're trying to exit things. So let me just show you this injective again. I mean, this is happening now live while we're talking about it. But look at this reaction, okay? And remember, it's all science. You know, we are actually scientists. Um, we, we wear Tradeology. white coats in the lab <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Tradeology, there you go that's, that's the one isn't it yeah so guys literally this is why we get so excited we play these fibs, we play these horizontals and you wait for your reaction zone so if you were panic exiting uh, injective well now maybe you know you've got a little bounce here maybe you can save yourself a, a bit of pain um, let's see where this reaction takes us and again how Look do you that. measure your reaction height uh, well, it's bouncing. Yeah, it's correct. bouncing now, Dil. Correct. Um, and we've got an X. We've got an X. Correct. <laughs> and it's so your birthday. Your no, it's not <laughs> I just heard. No, no, oh, I someone just wrote, so. someone just wrote, happy birthday, tradeologist. <laughs> uh, okay. It feels like it's my birthday when it bounces in the right places. So then you yeah, look for your reaction zones, okay? So here we go. Here's a clear reaction zone. This is a 382 mm -hmm. from a different pool, and it's a 382 from this pool. 
So mm -hmm. this area, so if you're longing from these areas, this is what I was trying to explain in that woo signal uh, yesterday. If you get the long, by the time it hits this reaction zone, raise your stop to entry. So you yep. are de-risk, okay? And then see what happens because often we are now in a downtrend. So you get that second rejection and then they might send you lower. So this is where the fun starts when it starts doing yep. that. Okay, but uh, yeah, just high impact zone, guys. And you know, sometimes it can save you a bit of money if you're underwater. Um, you know, wait for that little bounce and then uh, then sculpt out of your out of your your position. Tradeologists done. It's a, a professor of Fibonomics. Um, I think uh, Jackie taught me that one, <laughs> or oh, he called me. Uh, that. We have to, we need to add tradeologists to our LinkedIn profiles now. Hey, tradeology and and Fibonomics. <laughs> Paul says you need to change your screen resolution. Yeah, Apparently I saw that. Bit, uh, I bit, saw uh, that. I'll check it out afterwards. Thanks, Paul. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's look at Doge. And then I see we might get a nice level here on Doc just now. Um, okay, let's see. Doge looks, Doge looks good. Oh, wait, let me get up my the correct chart. Yeah, so Doge Day, can somebody tell us? Uh, quite a disappointment. I didn't see a Doge pump at all. Mm -mm. Um, a little bit of a letdown, but what have they done? It's, they've actually treated this thing like ETH. It's been stable in the zone um, for days. Um, been quite disappointing up and down. What do we have right now for Doge? I mean, it doesn't look epic, put it that way, but we do have a downtrend we can track. Okay, so we've got that. So this is the eight hour. It is fighting the 200 day MA. Okay. Look out for that, but it's not reclaiming it. It's kind of just wicking around. So watch out for that. Um, big area for me for Doge is 0 0.0645. That is a big area. So I would say our next decent reaction is there. And then we've got our 50 day MA just lower and then uh, 0 0.61. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about Doge. If you're not in a Doge long, there's no rush to be in one. Uh, track the trend. Let it break trend. Oh, yeah. Zoom in. There's, hmm? there's not much to add. There's not much to add. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not on any fibs. It's, uh, you know, it's just. Yeah. It's just there. It's a, okay. Looks it's crap, there. doesn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just there. Okay. So yeah, Anna Bank says Fibonomics Inc correct uh okay tash let's do litecoin for you bruce uh, uh do you have any charts there that uh, that are screaming at you i do i've got a bunch of while ready to go oh bruce you, you must have shouted us bruce just tell us oh, like, sure talking, talking. okay guys I mean, uh, it was really interesting stuff so i was like cool stuff well cool i'm stuff. glad you enjoy it but we enjoy listening I'm, to your stuff so um we do. We do. so Guys, Litecoin is looking very much like uh, Doge, really. Same sort of yep. cluster of nothing. Um, yeah. Big zone for me, 64 to 65. Um, and then right now where it is, but I, I, I mean, I, I'm not loving this, this sort of, uh, yeah, that's not giving me clear defined areas. I wanted a clean reaction of these guys. Um, and it's a bit of a mess right now. So um, technically it's still in this upper zone. So technically we should still say, okay, well, we can maybe get up to 80. Um, but uh, if we do get a pullback here, 65 for me is a buy area for, for Litecoin. We've had great reactions here. Um, Giovanni is laughing. I don't know why she's yeah. laughing at us. <laughs> okay. I think she's Uncle laughing at the birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bruce. Yeah. I'm adding this. Birthday, Bruce. Hi. Okay, we got so many well, likes. We, we can't disappoint you guys. Um, we, we're on 554. Okay, you boosted us. Thanks, guys. All right. Nice. Yay. Um, so much. Uh, the, the question before we really started the show was how deep this pullback is going to be. And you notice a lot, of, a lot of tokens pull back to support, trend line, and seem to have been losing them, which simply sets other tokens in motion. So one I was looking at before was GRT, graph. Uh, came back, broke through support, testing it, uh, testing this resistance area down in support, and the 21236 there. But like a lot of it in Bitcoin, it seems to be kind of losing its wind, which is great because that means that instead of getting a, a kind of a risky entry right over there and kind of a pumping token, you now get to be patient and let it come to pop up. So what I would love to see now if it breaks below the 26 is it come right back this area right at that trend line 
which has also got some pretty clear uh, support right there too, you can see. So I would love to see GRT come back to tag just probably in the 102, 10, 104 range, kind of right here, right? The deeper, the better in my mind, right there would be sweet to take along, but you're gonna have to be patient. These are the setups I love because you have time to watch them and see I if they behave the way you want them to behave. I think we're going to get these guys. Um, yeah. Really, we've been yeah. bullish for so long here. And I think yep. if we jump in prematurely and fire our guns too early here, we're mm -hmm. going to get disappointed. So I think this is the time. If you want to be scalping, guys, it's small positions here. It's risk exactly. management. But I think the yep. big stuff is going to come much lower down. Um, exactly. Exactly. And the fun, the fun part of that is that, I mean, our whole job, you're talking about that we're looking for trades where price is going to come and react in a certain zone. And what you're doing is you're predicting its behavior. So if you give it enough time, you say, I predict it's going to do A, B, and then C, and I can end on C. If it doesn't do A, B, and C, then your your uh, evaluation analysis of, of what it's going to behave is off. So why would you take a trade that the past was off what you thought? Because the future will be off too. But so this gives you time to watch and says, if this comes down to there and bounces and shows rejection right there, now you know it's being consistent with what you think it's going to do and it's more likely to be consistent in the future too so grt is definitely ready to you know give it another hour even another day yeah i think guys there's no rush when things turn south yep. Um, yep. there's no rush really there's no rush i see btc's lost the level i mean this yep. is nice you know it gives it's us good. a nice reset uh yep. let's just show the btc chart. Oh. Um, and guys who started this birthday thing i mean i'm not sure <laughs> i think know? it i think it was i think it was Everyone you in the chat like happy birthday to everyone i, I um, think it was you with your birthday today dill i think it was you i mean yeah matthias says happy birthday dgens um okay uh -huh. so, so btc is uh -huh. now lost the level um, yep. it's nice look it's not nice because we like to be long and strong and cooking right. all day <clears throat> um but this is it's a good reset guys and and i think to be fair it, it was expected mm -hmm. um so let's just be patient, let it play out. We do have an, a massive ranger that we're watching, okay? Yeah. There's a big range. So yeah. there's nothing to really panic about. What I would suggest, yeah. eyes on dominance, okay? Yeah. If dominance is dipping lower, it does kind of help the altcoins a little bit. So when BTC's yeah. dumping and dominance is actually falling, somehow these alts are like getting helped a little bit. The damage isn't as bad, okay? Yeah. Um, so Chris says, could bounce back soon. It could. Good. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, we just watch these levels. For me, it's the seven, eight, six, yeah, thirty-three. Call it, call it thirty-four on the button. Let's watch that. Uh, there is a bit of action just above, but yeah, I mean, uh, look, I'm short BTC here. Uh, yeah. For me, that's a nice area, thirty-four yeah. to close mm -hmm. and take a long, bounce it up to trend or <clears> six <throat> one eight. Yep. Um, yeah, so there are trades on offer, guys. So I mean, this is what I would suggest. So look for a bounce in this region. Okay, something along these lines. I've got an alarm going off right now on render. It crossed the trend line. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to take one more quick? Yeah, it just it just came up my alarm. It just yeah. went down below my my uh, my trend line. Yeah, yeah, and now the RSI is below twenty as well. Yeah. So something's going to happen. It's either going to reverse or it's going to smash through and keep going. Okay, yeah, let's dial in quickly, guys. We've gone way over time here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, but here we go. Your alarm's going off, and then you can see yeah. your first reaction, and it's on a reaction area 2.24. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, but if this, this candle closes RSI. below, if this candle closes below that trend line, then we're probably coming down to the next horizontal level. Yeah. 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 Simon, I'm this gonna seems... show your chart. Okay, sure. Well, as in what I'm looking at, right? Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. I mean, listen, I've just, I've just, let me just turn off all of the stuff so the guys can just see what I'm looking at. It doesn't always need to be difficult. I know I've got a lot of flash stuff on the screen, hey? Um, sometimes it can be as easy as that. I mean, that was a bit of a wick that just pushed through. So let's have a quick look. Mm -hmm. We okay. are. There you go. Look at that. So I haven't adjusted settings. Let me just check them. Let me just fix that up real quick. Two seconds. Got my fingers remembering where all these reaction. buttons are yeah look at that there you go so we we literally broke through the channel line we've pinged up but in all fairness this was a real solid short and it's still in play we've got no take profits we've got no long signals 
the RSI hasn't remotely stopped. And you know what? Cash flow is still coming out. So in all fairness, this should come back to it again in a minute. If we go into the 15, let's just wait for everything to load up real quick. I mean, look at that. I don't even need to adjust the settings to see this. We started out in this cloud and now we are deep into this cloud. I mean, renders a good one for bouncing up and down, up and down. This is going to go. It's going to do something. Obviously, that's a stupid thing to say, but it's going to it's going to do something. It's either going to react or it's going to keep going from looking at this. There's bullish divergence there that didn't play out. RSI is at seven. So according to the 15 minute, we should push off here. But yeah, so this is what we're talking about, guys. Again, you get these reaction zones. The more you dial in, like 15 minutes, obviously they're not necessarily that big, but we this is how we yeah. can exit positions. We're underwater, perhaps, uh, but you do get these nice bounces. But right now, looking at render, it's holding trend. Okay, yep. yeah, it is reacting. So there is yep. no reason if you were long from that trend grounds previously, um, you should be all right, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there's lots and lots of green. There's loads of green on here. There's loads of reasons why it should bounce. You know, there's at least four reasons why it should bounce off this line. So we'll see what happens. Okay, let's um, guys. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh, Leon left a comment there. He's saying he's gutted because you know he was had profits last night and now he's given some up. Leon, it happens to all of us. Greed is part yeah. of the game, and that's why I sit here all the time. And it happens to me, it happens to all of us all the time. So I don't think we're immune to these mistakes. We make mistakes mm -hmm. all the time. But what mm -hmm. I can tell you is if you focus on level by level and you have a disciplined system in taking your profits at these high impact mm -hmm. zones, and you get these bounces and you're not too greedy, maybe have a separate account for that you want to hold and take a chance and let things burn a bit longer. But if you have a separate trading entity where you are looking at high zones, reaction, support, resistance, you play it level by level with us. Um, you're going to be okay. So it's just, it's discipline. We all struggle with it. Don't feel bad if it's happening to you. It happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very difficult thing to close a trade that's so green. You always think, well, yeah. I can squeeze out a few more percent. Um, mm -hmm. And it's part of, yeah, it's part of the game. So don't, uh, yeah. don't be too hard on yourself. Um, it's yeah. only a shitty trade if you really had bad risk management, um, yeah. you know, and you're just randomly longing and shorting, that sort of stuff. But like, just play your solid areas and then try and be disciplined at the top. Know when to close and know when to cut when you guys are yeah. under, when you are under pressure, know where to cut. Like there's a little strategy we showed you now. Maybe you get that little bounce up, save yourself mm -hmm. a few dollars, bounces up before you cut. Um, and again, don't, yeah, don't always panic when you see, when you see these candles drop, they don't always close down there. Sometimes it's a little yeah. flush and they send it back up. So, um, just, yeah, all I can suggest every time guys is cool heads, uh, look at your levels. If you're not sure, don't do anything. Move back, look at your chart, look at your levels and, and make sure you, you're making an informed decision there when you are exiting or doing whatever. Um, just try not to bring panic into the equation. That's, uh, yep. that's what hurt a lot. Okay, right. cool. Everybody, tomorrow we're doing it all over again. So much nice. fun, Bruce, Sweet. Simon, and Dave is back Thanks. tomorrow. He's bringing, he's bringing new beats tomorrow. He's guaranteed me we've got new music tomorrow. Okay, see you guys.